Hello there, and welcome back to the Big Boy. It's Kevin again. So uh, you may have seen a couple of posts that uh, have indicated that we're going to play the Battle of Ascalon today and recreate what happened there in southern Palestine back in August 1099. It's actually uh, it seems to me to be a fairly interesting uh, conflict, and I think what we're Hopefully what we're going to experience is uh, a, a little uh, more infantry action in this particular battle and then once again I'm sure we're going to see the power of the awesome knights against the light cavalry of, uh, of what we'll generally call the Muslims or infidels. And once again it's a very lopsided battle from a numbers perspective. We've got uh, about 25,000 so what we have is a uh, numerically somewhat lopsided battle with the Egyptian forces having 25 to 50,000 troops depending on which historical uh, situation you take as accurate and our guys over here have 9,000 infantry and 1,000 cav so fairly disparate but once again I think we will see the, the knights come to the fore and inflict all sorts of carnage. In the original battle I believe these uh, Bedouin cavalry attempted to flank here but were headed off by uh, Godfrey. Godfrey Godfrey Bouillon, that's right. One of the crusade, great crusaders. And then uh, this back line of heavy cav back here, not only are they disordered as you can see, I've also turned them facing away to represent the fact that they're unalerted, meaning that they uh, are going to have to, as part of the scenario rules, we're going to have to spend an activation to alert them, and then they'll become uh, alerted, but still disordered. And so then we'll have to go through the exercise of moving from disordered to ordered, or maybe just going straight into combat in a disordered fashion. We'll see what happens there. Uh, we've got uh, medium cav over here and then we've got our infantry which are various types of archers and uh, various types of archers and archers with flails which I find just enormously interesting uh, I'd love to see those guys actually do that or uh, <laughs> fight with their flails uh, physically see that that would have been pretty amazing anyway so that's our situation I'm gonna get started in just a second and we'll uh, see what happens and see if we can recreate a uh, relatively easy historic victory or indeed can the Fatimid camp uh, come up with uh, something innovative on the plane of Ashad. Okay so first turn we're going to activate uh, Godfrey of Brion and no point bucking the trend here So we've moved, and now we want to uh, see who is going to move next. So I can either uh, activate as the uh, Crusader side, I can either activate another unit, another formation, or the uh, opponent, the Egyptian, can attempt to seize my uh, continuity, which is rule six. So So we just rolled for uh, continuity, and we rolled a two. And that means that uh, Robert of Normandy, who was the chap we were rolling for, has a, con uh, a leadership rating of three. So he's now allowed to continue uh, after our guys here have uh, finished their move. If we had failed that, 
then it would have uh, the movement would have gone over to the Egyptians. So now we can move these guys. Okay, we start recording. <coughs> so we just roll for continuity again for the Grisader team. And this time we rolled an 8 and they failed because the leader, although he is uh, very capable, uh, Raymond of Toulouse, uh, with a rating of 5, I believe, uh, unfortunately rolled an 8. So that means that our erstwhile enemy, the Egyptians, now have a free activation and they're going to use that activation to allow the heavy cab to become disordered. So all I'm going to do is turn these guys around and uh, that will allow us to know that that's what's going on. And since it's now their activation, it means that they have a chance to roll from continuity. And they roll a 9 and that's smashing. So they don't get to do anything else. Now these guys have a free activation and with that free activation I'm actually going to move up my standard and move it closer and use continuity and roll another 8 which means nobody can move. So these guys now have a chance to uh, have a free activation and they're going to move from disordered to ordered with their heavy cab. I think the heavy cab is going to be the secret to the Mamluk uh, Cav is going to be the secret of winning this battle. So let's see if we can get him in the battle sooner rather than later. Roll for continuity. Three. And that'll do it. Alright. We are going to activate. Now with the e Egyptians we only have one leader. So, And we are uh, in, in command control. And so what we're going to do is move these disordered units and I'm going to try and uh, buy us some time. Seize and fails. We're going to activate the better ones. Here are going to counter charge. 
the aggressive types that they are. So we're going to put a counter charge here, a counter charge here, and we're going to pause. As we said earlier on, these guys were charging and the Crusaders were going to counter charge, which they did successfully. So what you do is you roll and then uh, uh, subtract your uh, defense DRM. And if that number is under three, which both of these are, then uh -huh, you win, your counter charge is successful. And that means that all of these charges that our little Bedouin friends are doing become shock attacks. And we actually only needed two charge counters there because we were going to combine those attacks. And I rolled for the results and we got uh, no effect here, no result. And here the chaps uh, really didn't roll terribly well, they rolled a one. So they're disordered and they retreat. One hex. And that's the result for the first combat in this battle. So that is the end of that activation. It is now. Uh, let's see, I think the uh, <coughs> be wise for us to try and seize as the Crusader. And they roll a three and they're successful in doing so. So they will now move. some archery fire here we're gonna have some archery fire here and obviously there'll be all sorts of reactive charges and things so it's going to be a fairly exciting little episode here <laughs>